Hello and welcome to Business Insider with Mario Taniguzzi. Joining me today is Jerry Baxter, who is the Executive Director of the Calgary Residential Rental Association. Got that right, right, Jerry? You did. You did, Mario. <laughs> Thanks for joining us today, Jerry. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thank you. So you guys had a, a news conference today down on the steps of, this, of City Hall. Tell me what that was all about and why. Well, this is all part of what we've been working on for the last several months, uh, um, dealing with the property tax issue for multi-residential buildings in Calgary. Um, there's about a thousand buildings that have been impacted with massive double digit tax increases. And they range anywhere from 10% to over 40%. Wow. Average out at about 23%. So we were down there today. We wanted to send the message uh, uh, to City Council. Um, it's like our, our last attempt. We've tried working with them uh, over the last number of months. And unfortunately, uh, it hasn't been successful. Uh, they haven't been listening to us. Uh, they don't uh, seem to think that there's a problem. But the reality is, as we know, with these types of increases, that not only percentage-wise, but what they, what they actually mean in terms of dollar increases, uh, they range anywhere from $1,000 for one building uh, with just a, a few rental units in it, up to the largest I've heard is one of the high-rise buildings is $222,000 increase. That's a, just and an increase, right? That's the increase. They, wow. That's right. And so uh, consequently, uh, like it, it's, they're massive. These are massive increases. And no business can really sustain themselves when you get these types of double digit increases in, in taxation. Um, so, we're, so Jerry, what is the impact then on, on the landlords themselves? I, are, you know, are some of them going to have to give up these buildings or try to sell them that they can't survive? Or? Well, that's a really good question. And uh, Mario, I'll tell you, you, hit the nail on the head because that's what I'm hearing from some of the smaller landlords. The small business people is what they are. And uh, they've said that this may mean they have to sell their business and get out of uh, being the landlord, sell their buildings, just get out of it. Uh, it's very, very difficult, as we heard one fellow this morning say, and he's not the only one, they're actually dipping into their personal savings wow. to try and keep their businesses afloat. Because in the last few years, given the economic recession and now with the COVID, uh, landlords uh, have actually reduced rents beyond where they were in 2014. And most of them have not been able to catch up to even where they were at six years ago. Yeah. So consequently, their, their, their revenue stream is less, but their expenses continue to increase. And these property taxes uh, uh, come at a time when uh, I think, as, as council said, well, they, they didn't think that landlords would be able to do much because we can't increase the rents right now. And we can't. Well, that was the next question I was going to ask, right? Because uh, right now, uh, uh, they can't recoup any of that uh, money going out by increasing increasing rents, right? Because of uh, legislation, provincial legislation? Yeah, that, that's correct. And that's in effect right now. Uh, it's in effect until at least mid-August. Uh, we're not sure what will happen, whether it'll be extended or whether or not the ministerial order will actually be lifted at that time. But even if it is, uh, We've got tens of thousands of people out there who have lost their jobs as a result of the recession. And the COVID has taken its toll as well on many people. Their revenues, their income has been down significantly. Landlords have actually been working with them. Uh, payment plans to help them get through. Landlords have been taking less money. So consequently, what we're, what we're likely to see is at some point in time, rents will have to increase to try and offset these costs. But the problem is, I think it's even bigger than that, Mario, because what I'm hearing from so many of the landlords now is that what this is gonna mean is that they no longer intend to invest in the city of Calgary. 
So we're going to lose those investment dollars. We're also hearing that for many of them, uh, they're going to have to postpone and delay any planned renovations or upgrades that they had to their rental units. Yeah. So that has a negative impact on tenants who are perhaps looking to have their uh, rental units modernized or uh, upgraded. Uh, there's also uh, also the issue with uh, with these uh, uh, huge tax increases that uh, landlords are probably only going to be able to do emergency maintenance okay so regular maintenance is probably going to be off which means that ultimately the buildings are going to deteriorate likely yeah. um, and consequently if the buildings go down people move out if you've got lower uh, uh, if you've got lower income and you've got a building that's not worth as much anymore the city then shooting themselves in the foot because they're not going to collect the same amount of tax from that building well, yeah. so, so this, this is going to have, uh, it has an impact on many of the, these landlords, but it also is going to have a terrible effect on tens of thousands of renters as well. Okay. Well, thanks a lot, Jerry, for joining us today. You know, Mary, it's always a pleasure chatting with you. Thank you so much for having me today. Okay. That was Jerry Baxter, who is Executive Director of the Calgary Residential Rental Association. This has been... Business Insider with Mario Taniguzzi. Thanks for joining us today.